What's going on guys, it is Kingman, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an updated version of my current PC. I'm also going to be showing you some gameplay as well, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I'll also be showing you uh, my new graphics card and how to install it, and what I upgraded. Here's actually my old setup. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? But as you can tell, it is improved massively since then i was quite young then so i couldn't really afford a setup to be honest as you see i've got new monitors i've got um new pc parts and all that new keyboard new mouse just new everything basically so now it's time for the biggest part of the video which is the upgrade time so i have to take uh stuff out of the pc unplug stuff and yeah i'll show you right now so starting off i took out all the cables on the back of my pc i then took off the front glass panel and then took out my graphics card by taking out all the screws and then taking it from the motherboard and then once i've done that i then start to take out my old power supply cables the cp1 the 24 pin and the sata i no longer use my hard drive so i'm taking this one out here after that i then decided to take out my old power supply by unscrewing the four screws and then basically unrouting all the cables as you see, there's my uh, hard drive tray. Here is my old power supply, by the way. There is a lot of cables. This was only a 80 plus bronze, 750 watts power supply, but it won't be powerful enough for my current graphics card. But here's my new power supply. I put all the cables in. I then put it in my case, as you see. I then screwed it in with the four screws. I then routed all of the cables, the ones I needed, in the front of my case and also in the back. So I can plug everything in as you see, 24 pin, the CPU socket and also the graphics card cable. I then plugged in the Commander Core uh, fan hub also. Here's some stuff I got with my new graphics card. I won't be using this cable as I have the new power supply which basically gives it enough power. And also got like a bracket as well to keep it up my graphics card so it doesn't sag or anything and then the only thing left to do now guys is literally show you the graphics card as you see it's massive compared to my 1660 super gaming x this is a 4070 ti it came out like a few weeks ago as you see it's brilliant all the parts will be down below like the specifications if you want to see them and then after that i then put in my graphics card and actually luckily fits as you see and i then uh, all i have to do now is just basically screw it all in and just plug in all the cables and then that's it i can then boot it up and then obviously windows will say oh there's a new device installed and then i just have to click ok and just basically download all the drivers actually here's what the rgb looks like it looks absolutely amazing there's my logo also on there i use that with the corsair app I also moved the cable for the graphics card as it was in a weird angle, but I actually moved it. As you see here, here is some Fortnite. I had ray tracing on, so it did lower my uh, FPS a bit. But apart from that, I was playing at 1080p, which is apparently not recommended for this, but soon I will upgrade monitors to at least 1440p or a 4K monitor. But as you see here, I've run everything at epic settings, which is absolutely crazy, guys. Um, I was getting roughly probably about maybe 90 FPS or like over 100 FPS. But soon I'll be upgrading CPU as I have a current bottleneck issue. But um, as you see, this is Modern Warfare 2. And as you can see, I had uh, max settings. And I was getting at least like over 160 FPS or something like that on 1080p. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Kimuti4. Peace out.